Azam Sheikh Al Souk, nominated by JCI Syria in the category of humanitarian and or voluntary leadership. As the Syrian crisis began in 2011, Azam Sheikh Al Souk and his friends noticed garbage being dumped in the streets due to a lack of municipal services. Starting by cleaning up his neighborhood with friends, he quickly became driven to support his community in a greater way. Sheikh Al Souk began volunteering as a nurse, treating war injuries, and eventually joined the Syrian Red Crescent. In 2015, Sheikh Al Souk worked with the UNHCR to coordinate the first outreach volunteer group in his home city of Homs. 100 community members from different groups joined the outreach team. They focused on building and spreading skills within their community, such as mobilizing people, developing community-based initiatives, and communication skills, while also facilitating awareness sessions and organizing recreational events. After working as a life skills trainer for the Danish Refugee Council and implementing 40 community-based initiatives, Sheikh Al Souk expanded his work beyond his hometown to other areas in need across Syria. Driven by his own status as an internally displaced person, he is motivated by his life motto. I believe that we live our life when we live for others, which drives me to seek every single opportunity to serve the people in need. Refugees have suffered a lot in Syria, and with the lack of human resources, I felt that I had to travel across the country, working to improve their situation and provide the maximum possible protection and assistance. Sheikh Al Souk has provided emergency health response in five camps for 130,000 refugees and internally displaced individuals. Since then, he has founded the Health Working Group for Refugees in Syria, which coordinates the health response from national and international agencies. Creating positive impact that directly affects refugees and displaced persons during this pivotal moment in Syria's history drives Sheikh Al Souk to his greater purpose to serve the most vulnerable groups.